Hi y'all, today we're going to look at profiles again and in this exercise we're going to look at we're going to take this profile that we created in a profile family it's just basic lines and I've got this profile here so now what I want to do I want to go and edit a cable trace let's go file open let's open our families and let's go down to cable trays. There we go. And looks fittings. So now here we looked at a few and I showed you in an earlier exercise how to change the profile. Well sometimes you don't have that option because uh, let's look at this ladder cross for instance. We'll look at the ladder cross and we'll open this up. Now this is a ladder cross family with all the connectors and here let's do a wireframe. Let's do a fine view and let's do a wireframe. So there's all of your rungs and and your side walls. But here we don't again we've got this really goofy or jiggy jiggy looking <laughs> cable tray which doesn't give us much detail. So I'm going to show you how to work this one out here. So let's zoom on. So now I've got my profile here. And what I want to do, I want to bring this profile across. But in this case, if I go back, we're going to be going back and forth here. So as I go back into this family, as you can see, there are no profiles. So what we're going to have to do here is um, we're going to have to go out here and see what, how we can do. Now I'm going to look at this in here closely and that connector is on the outside of that suite. So what I'm going to do, I want to just grab this guy here and whoops, I want to just take this guy and move this to this side, to this side of this reference plane. Okay. So now, while we have this uh, profile, what, what we have here is uh, this family. These are sweeps. See, these are extrusions. So we really can't do too much with that. We can edit it. We can edit that extrusion, but it's giving us the wrong plane or we can change the plane. But the easier way to do this, let's just cancel this. Let's go in and create. Let's do a sweep. Let me make this in shaded view so we can see. And let's hide this extrusion that that's the visual extrusion that you want to show in vis visibility graphics so I want to hide this so there's our cable tray our cross so all you got to do here is let's go into create a suite and then we want to pick a path so I want to pick this path right here because this is based on how my profile is so I'm going to pick this path along here And then once I have my path, you can only do one at a time. I'm going to click the green tick mark. And then I want to go here and I want to select my profile. Now my profile isn't there. Now I can do it two ways. I can go and find it in a location, but I already got it over here open. So I'm going to just go into this family, make sure I'm in this family. I'm going to load into project. Okay, now I want to come back over here. And I want to go here, select profile, and it should be there. There it is. And then I want to click finish. So there's my profile. And I can actually, if I want now, 
Let's just cancel that. We can even delete these extrusions out, but let's get them all in. So let's do the next one here. Same thing, create, sweep, pick a path. We'll pick this line here, here, and here. We finish. The profile is already there. Just go load it. Finish. Same thing on this side. Just create a sweep. Pick this line and this line. And we'll go finish. And select the profile. Green check mark. So that's all to it, folks. Uh, let's try this one now. This side. Create sweep. Pick path. We'll go finish. And we'll load our profile. Bam. So there's our cable tray with the with a defined, say, um, profile. So now what we can do now is um, I'm gonna just take that off. Now I'm gonna just blow these old guys away. And there we go. So there's our cable tray with our our profile, the correct profile we wanted. So um, we probably would need to do the same thing with these uh, rungs, but I'm gonna leave it there. They're gonna be a little tricky, and this is probably about the best we can do. So um, that's how you will do that. So in this case, we have to go in and create sweeps. So we just swept right around the edges with this profile we made over here and loaded it in. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. All the support I've been getting. We're up to nearly 300 videos and oh, about 280 subscribers. So, for all you CAD gurus out there, keep up with my videos. Have a good day, and everybody be safe. Have a good one. Bye.